Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Galaxy Mod ROM for your US Galaxy S3. So let's get started. Guys, let me start off by saying at the end of the video I will be showing you how to flash this ROM and some of the aroma options you get, and there's a bunch of them. And yeah, let's get started. So uh, right off the bat, you can tell that it does come with the Galaxy S4 clock widget. Um, basically, you just go here and um, search whatever area you want to add. Let's say I live in San Francisco. Add right here. And there you go. It's the S4 widget, which looks really nice, in my opinion. I like it better than the other widgets, or the old S3 widgets. When you scroll down your notification bar and open up your notification area, um, if you install the stock theme, it's going to be this whitish blue theme on your um, toggles. And you'll actually have a button right here, which I've seen in a couple of ROMs now. And if you tap that, it'll open up your multitasking. And this is when the other cool feature comes in. You get the um, sense for multitasking. So, I mean, it's a love or hate thing. I tend to like it since it looks really cool and you kind of get a full screen of the apps. And as you can see, it does work if I click there and open up settings. So once we open up settings, we have two sets to view through. Um, this is also a tweak from tablets, usually. It's basically like when you click on Bluetooth, instead of taking you into the whole Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you get all the Wi-Fi right here instead of and you could still scroll through here and look at your other stuff. If we go into About Device, you can tell that it is Android 4.1.2. That means we do get multi multi view, and it's working good. Everything seems to work fine. Of course, you could add any apps that you install from the Play Store easily, and I'm not going to be looking at that right now since it's kind of a more common thing now. So. I want to show you guys some of the other features that this ROM lets you have that others don't really give you. So if we go back to the top, we'll have this area for control panel. If we open it up for tweaks, at the top we have Access Hub. Here we could go and check what we've downloaded for this ROM and some other mods and stuff we could download now. Then we do get interface. Here we could uh, customize our quick panel settings, our battery bar. We could add pie launcher, and we could enable the navigation bar, which is not working and will be implemented later. So that's not working yet, unfortunately. Then we do get functionality. Here we could add headphone shortcuts when you plug in your headphones and blocking mode settings. So what you want to do when you enable blocking mode. And then we get lock screen customizer. So here, if you're going to be using the touch with lock screen, you can enable ink effect and change the color for it. Now, if you noticed before, and I'll show you again right now, in the beginning of the video, I showed you this lock screen. And this is the Xperia Z lock screen that looks really, really nice. So if we go into lock screen options, we get a bunch of choices of which lock screen we want. HTC Sense, AOSP, BlackBerry, Acer Cloud, Stock S3, Rotary, and LG Optimus. So I like the Xperia Z the best. You could choose whatever uh, lock screen you guys like the best and just test them out if you want. And one thing when you change that, you do have to go to the bottom and disable ripple effect. Otherwise, if you reboot, you will not be able to use your phone as it will just be stuck. So remember that. Um, if you go back into tweaks, and then we do get exposed framework. So here, if you don't know, you could install exposed framework. Right here, will give you the steps, and then the Parab DPI manager. So you could change the DPI of apps, and you could give some of your apps tablet UI, which is really cool, I think. If we go back, we do get performance control. Here we could go in and change the performance of our ROM. You will just grant super user request. Click OK and overclock or underclock, whatever you want to do. And then, of course, we get about. So if we click here, it tells us about the ROM. Or I guess, yeah, it just shows us. Okay, so if we exit out, we do also get some other options. If we go under display, 
and to around the bottom we have battery icon options so if you guys have been following my videos um, you've noticed that most of the Tetris ROMs have this option now and it's called on the fly battery mod so we can go through here and change which battery we want and there's a bunch of choices they even have a sense 5 choice so let's say I would choose that and it changed my battery icon let me zoom in a little at the top as you can see the icon has changed which looks really nice and you get a bunch of those options to choose between and finally what I'll be showing you is if we go into date and time we get uh, also customize the date and time settings so right now I don't have a clock but I'll enable show time and here we can choose if we want to have AM PM the day the date day and date the size we want it, so we could choose small, for example, and we could set the clock color. So let's say I want um, yellow. So there you go. There's the clock, and we could add day and date, show date, show day. You could just make a huge clock up there, and it looks really nice too. And it's cool that you get that option to customize your status bar like that. Uh, in Aroma, right now I'll be showing you right now. You do have some options of themes whichever one you want and also if you haven't noticed uh, you'll have the option of choosing your animation so this ROM if you pay attention has different animations it's most noticeable actually when you're unlocking so I want you guys to pay attention when I unlock the device okay so watch Did you see that it kind of went in like that so there's different animations you could choose in Roma as I said that's one of them that I chose and um, it will look different in each area um, and I haven't really found anything wrong with this ROM guys I really suggest it and I, as I said before it's for the US Galaxy S3's and now I'll be showing you how to flash it so. okay guys so now I'm going to be showing you how to flash the ROM for your Galaxy S3 so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to wipe data factory reset and it's probably best to do this twice so we'll do that twice next you're gonna go and wipe cache portion and then finally we're gonna go to advanced and wipe Dalvik cache once you've done that we're gonna go back into install zip from SD card and navigate to wherever you have the ROM and it should say Xeem S3 blah 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 meaning what version you have I'm going to go there, click install, and there it goes, and it should take us into Aroma. So, let's watch. There you go. So, we're going to click next, and agree, run installation. We're going to choose our Galaxy S3, then we're going to uh, use whatever one you want to do. So, I suggest going with developer pick. Actually, actually, let's go back. So uh, I'll show you custom installation. So you could go through here and choose which uh, apps you want. We could also go through here and choose uh, other apps we want, like file manager, keyboard, terminal emulator, uh, navigation bar, if you want that option. Uh, if we click next, we then get some options like force GPUI rendering and if you want exposed framework. We can install a custom theme. I'm going to choose no for now. Uh, AOSP UI sounds and audio hack. Uh, if you want a theme from them, some animation choices, GPS configuration, uh, the launcher you want. I'm going to go with Axis Launcher and the kernel. After that, you're going to click Next, and it should install, guys. So, um, yeah, I guys hope I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Also, make sure to hit the like button down below and leave some comments what you think of this ROM and other ROMs you want me to review. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching.